Hello and welcome back to Supermum Society, resources for a better, easier, happier motherhood. In today's video, I'm gonna be explaining how I help keep my handbags super organized, which makes my life calmer and easier, but also saves me a lot of time. As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and make their lives a little bit easier too. So it's no secret that I love anything that saves me time and keeps me organised because it makes life so much happier and calmer. It's very frustrating when you get somewhere and you haven't got what you need or you just waste time constantly rummaging for your keys or your phone and it's just a bit of a nightmare. I don't like having too many handbags. I have a light colour clutch and a dark colour clutch. Don't have many options there. I have my bigger casual and my smaller casual, which I've got here. And then I have a smarter big one, which I would use if I was going to a conference because it has a padded pouch for my laptop. So I don't have to take my laptop case even. It's just, it's got like a thing in there and it's got lots of pockets. And that's actually definitely something I want to touch on is having a bag with lots of pockets is a great way to stay organised. But I also really like these sort of drop bags. Same thing with my gym bag. It's just like a massive drop it in kind of bag. And that is sort of what I was looking for when I found my small bag. And um, this is from Ted Baker. And um, it has got lots of pocket options, but I tend to just use it as a drop bag because I have my special amazing hack for keeping things organized. But this bag I fell in love with. I need a bag that I can fit my laptop into and my laptop fits in here nicely. I can also take A4 folders and stuff in here as well. So if I'm doing a talk, I've normally got some sort of handout that I want to do, like keep neat in a folder. So I can take that in here as well. So this is probably like my bigger, would have been my bigger problem bag because it is literally, um, this is from Aspinalls of London, um, is literally just a giant vat. Now I don't know whether you think that looks organised or not, but it is, I'll show you in a minute. And I have things, this is like where everything lives the majority of the time, but I also wanted a small, this also has a shoulder bag strap or I can put it over my arm. I also wanted a smaller handbag that, I can take occasionally. This clips onto the buggy really nicely um, and I could also throw it on my shoulder because now my daughter would rather walk quite a lot of the time. I need to be able to like, it's got a long strap I can throw over my chest as well. But I need to be able to transfer things between the two quite a lot and majority of people won't just have one handbag they use all the time. Maybe you have a handbag sometimes and a nappy bag the other times and this trick that I'm going to share with you I found was an absolute game changer for these. I'm going to get this one out of the way. So, like I said, it's just a giant vat hole. What you have got with this one is there a, li a little pouch attached. Now, I use this as a change pouch. If I've got anything tiny, memory cards and things, then they will go in here because that is attached and I can find it easily. Um, but most bags are some sort of clip on the inside and I... I'm going to unclip this to show you. Um, this is basically like a teeny tiny carabiner that I will clip my keys to so that my keys don't fall to the bottom of my bag and I don't waste loads of time rummaging around trying to find them. If we've been sort of out for the day, we've got back to the car, we're verging on like getting grumpy and stuff and knowing that my keys are easy reach, they're just clipped on there. As we're walking to the car, I can open the car because I can just reach and see it in my bag and press the button and get on with my life. Um, I then have the standard notepad for mummy activity book for kid. I don't want to carry around loads of toys and stuff, so we've made it standard. This book is our emergency book. It only comes out in emergency, so she doesn't get bored with it. Um, it's like got stickers and some pictures to look at and reading. It doesn't require anything additional. So whatever age your child is, try and find a one thing emergency activity that you're going to keep in your handbag. It saves you having loads of extra bits and pieces, because um, that would drive me absolutely potty. Then the other things are divided, so you see those are literally just two books. Um, there's the bag that's attached that I've already shown you. I have this little pouch which has um, some business cards, it has some little postcards, the positivity postcards that Supermom Society sell because sometimes I meet people and I'd like to share one with them. So it means that I can give them, or if I see a mum struggling, I write a little note on it and give it to her. And then I also have some Supermom notelets. Um, 
this I take with me everywhere because I kind of never know when personal life and work life are going to cross over but that's all I need like work-wise emergency kit if I go to like networking events and things where I'm not giving the presentation I haven't got any handouts to give I haven't got speech notes or anything like that I know my bag's already set for those kind of things which is really helpful so I have that one too um, and then this this is when the magic happens I feel like this should be like a drum roll drum roll please I'm um, not very good for sound effects so there probably won't be a drum roll added and um, this is my magic pouch and yes it is clear for a reason so your magic pouch needs to be clear this was actually a freebie at an event and i really like it and it fits nicely so um i it's from something like will be i can't really read on the tag i'll try and read on the tag later but this harnesses harnesses links together harnesses yeah harnesses the power of all the random little bits in your handbag but you need it to be clear because you need to be able to see it um so i've got a sugar-free emergency sweet, a lip balm in there. I've got a little reusable straw and the bigger one is currently in the dishwasher. Um, emergency pen, there's lots of little bits, business cards. Um, I've got some plug-in headphones with like the adapter because as we know, iPhones have now stopped having a plug-in but if I'm working on my laptop, I want my headphones. I've got my wireless headphones. I get really hot really easily, so it's got, I've got a paper fan in there, I've got sunglasses for me, sunglasses for the kids, I've got post-it notes, ah, oh, so much stuff in here. I have a, a USB stick, I have an eyelash wand, uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here, what else do we have in here? Um, I have some energy gum, it's like caffeinated gum, I do feel like it woke me up, but if you don't want to have a coffee or you can't get into a coffee and you're having like an energy slump and you're about to do the food shop, the last thing you want to do is go in hungry. So that's quite useful then. And then I also, I'm going to get this one thing out because this is kind of a game changer in my summer life. Actually life in general. Um, this is brush on block. I will link it down below. I got it from Amazon. It's a SPF 30 and it's like one of those like bronzing brushes and you just sort of tap it a few times to bring the powder to the top and then you can brush it on. It can be used on your whole body. Um, so we use it as an emergency one if we've gone out and I've forgotten to bring sunblock for my kid for her whole body. I wouldn't do my whole body with it. I would just cover up more but she's off running and being crazy um but we definitely use it and top up faces you can use it over your makeup as well so if you don't want to muck up whatever you've done on your face but suddenly you realize you're in a sunny situation which is basically outside at all you need sunblock on and um, so this is an absolute winner for me and it's so tiny and it's powder so it's not going to leak gunk everywhere in my nice organized handbag um but I can see everything that's in there. Tissues, that's what else is in there. That's a lot of things in there. A lot of little things in there. But I will constantly just check in on this. If there's things in here that I haven't used for ages, I'm like, does it really need to be in there? I probably don't need two eyelash ones in there. <laughs> so I probably could take one of those out, but I literally grabbed my handbag and filmed this. I didn't want to, I didn't think it would be authentic I kind of hate that works a bit of a buzzword, but you know what I mean. I wanted it to be authentic and I didn't want to clean out my handbag and then do you a video about my organised handbag and be like, yeah, it's always organised. Um, post-it notes I haven't used for ages. So post-it notes on one of the eyelash brushes could probably come out of here. Um, in fact, they will do after this video, but I wanted it to be organised. Now, what's important about your bag beyond the fact that it's clear is in needs to be able to fit in both bags and this is a just this just fits and um, so i can actually do this and my notepad in here comfortably and my super mum network event survival kit but what i can't fit is that Kind of sticks out the top a little bit but the important one is that little bag of all the little bits because that would take a long time to transfer over if those were all in separate pockets in my bag and usually i don't require the book 
or this because I've normally got the buggy with me so if I've got this bag I've likely got the buggy with me or not got the child with me in which case I don't need my emergency entertainment book um but other than that I can fit everything in this I can grab and throw in my gym bag I can like move it around in my hand luggage if you go on holiday really easily but you need to check that one it's clear so you can see all the bits in it but does it fit in the main handbag or the main couple of handbags that you use because that is kind of important but this like I said this is definitely my my main one can just slide everything in it nice and easily so what have we got we got one, two, three, four items, and then the one that's already attached in there. That's it. So, end of the day, when I want to clean out my handbag, I do try and clean it. If we go out, out, and do lots of things, I try and return it to a fairly tidy state um, in my office at the end of the day, because otherwise you get like this massive build up of bits and pieces. Maybe you want to make that a weekly thing, I do have a weekly desk declutter on my calendar and maybe that's going to be your bag moment. But taking that time to make sure that this thing that you use constantly throughout the day is organised and that you have all the bits that you need, that you've charged up your headphones and things like that in there. Maybe you have a battery pack in there for your phone that that gets put on charge every evening or every other evening um, to go back in your bag will save you so much time overall. Sometimes it's the little changes that add up to big time savers and wouldn't take a massive time investment. And that's where I think there is so much magic in making sure your bag is organized. I hope you found this video super helpful. I would love to hear any comments or tricks that you use for keeping your bag organized and tidy. Please also let me know if you have liked this video. It's a little bit different to the things that I usually post and maybe you'd like to see more like this or maybe you're like nah there's enough of this elsewhere on the internet I like your normal stuff let me know about that in the comments down below too as always I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood and remember being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be bye remember don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again Oh,